welcome to lunchtime with Southern Maryland Divers and it's Dive Master John here. Um, we're going to be doing uh, today, we're going to be doing something uh, I guess a little bit different. Um, here today we're going to be going over uh, scuba courses, uh, the different dive classes that we have available to you. Um, if you're interested in diving or if you've never gone diving and you've been watching some some of these or if you've been diving for a while um, there's a lot of different opportunities to learn more about the sport um, depending upon where you are in the spectrum from beginner to uh, uh, advanced diver there's always more to learn diving is a continuum uh, that you can always be on and uh, learning more about the sport that you're involved in is, is is always fun it's enjoyable it's something to do while you're in the water besides just swim around um, and, and making yourself a better diver improving your skills your skill set and your knowledge base is always important okay so what we're going to do today is we're going to go over some of the courses some of the things that are available to us as divers all right so to begin with we'll start off at the very basic at the very bottom and go work our way up okay so at the very bottom of the very bottom of the list just to get in dip your toe in the water we have we have a class called discover scuba okay and a discover scuba class allows non-divers to uh, jump in the pool and uh put the, basically put the gear with the gear on and uh, go through the basics of uh, learning a little bit about uh, what to do in the water you know learn uh, re regulated recovery mass clearing things like that uh where uh they can uh, learn the basics of how to use the equipment and then swim around in the pool with the gear on and get comfortable in the water with it and decide for themselves if they want to move forward. Uh, we, we charge $50 for that and uh, if they decide in the next few weeks that they want to move on from there, then that $50 can be credited toward uh, the, the, uh, an open water class. So discover scuba. All right, so that's the that's the first stepping stone. Okay, uh, after that, the the beginning is uh, open water. Okay, open water is the basic uh, uh, the certification that you need to get uh, uh, in the water as a scuba diver. And open water uh, allows you to dive down to six maximum of sixty feet. All right, and it consists of three parts. The first part is an online course that you take, and that gives you um, the th the theory behind diving. Okay, and uh, then there is the pool portion, that what we call the confined water portion. That's it takes place in the pool. You learn uh, how to set up your your equipment, how to put it on that type of thing, and how to deal with it in the pool. You learn certain uh, skill sets like regulator, your octopus reco regulator recovery, how to buddy share, um, things like that. Um, mass clearing, for instance, is another one. So that's a fun one for a lot of people, mass clearing. Um, some people have trouble with that one. Um, and then uh, you also get to swim around in the pool with the gear, get used to your buoyancy, the noises that the, uh, re that the regulator makes when you're breathing. Uh, it can be interesting for people for the first time they do that. Okay. And then the third part of that class is uh, we go down to a quarry and we do what we call the open water portion. And the open water portion is uh, very similar to the pool portion. Uh, there are uh, uh, places in the, in the quarry, uh, platforms that are in the quarry at various depths, uh, so that you uh, redo the skills that you did in the pool at, ver at various depths. Somewhere you can, you know, doing in the pool where you can stand up is one thing, you know, clearing your mask where you can stand up is one thing. Doing it where you have uh, a lot of water above your head is a whole different experience. And so once you master those skills at, uh, uh, at pool depth and then you master the skill, same skill set that we're at a much deeper depth, then you can go and um, actually do some uh, diving at, at, uh, at the quarry. And there, for instance, there's a lot of things that we can swim around and check out. They have a Black Hawk helicopter down there, some buses, some... Uh, cruisers that you can check out so it's a lot of fun uh, to uh, get your first taste of diving and uh, so the, the open water diving consists of like I say the three parts the online portion the pool portion and then the uh, uh, the open water portion down at the quarry okay and 
the uh, there there are different um, uh, there's a, th those things can be scheduled with us. The cost is about f is uh, is five hundred ninety five dollars, and that includes everything you need to uh, get certified, with the exception of a mask, fins, snorkel and booties. And those things are considered personal gear and you have to come into the shop and we will fit you for those things. And fit is very important. Um, it's like having a bad pair of hiking boots before you go on a long hike or if you're going to go running, you know, you got to have make sure the product fits right because if it doesn't, it will be an uncomfortable dive. A leaky mask, not fun. Um, if your gear doesn't fit right or if it's not appropriate, we have some, I've seen people come in with stuff from Walmart and you know, that's just not, not cutting it. It's not cutting it. So you come in, talk to us and we can make sure that the gear you have, if you have gear, come in, let us take a look at it so we can make sure it's appropriate or it, it, it's right. Um, some people are gifted product. Let us, let us take a look at it first. Okay. We'll tell you if it's, a, if, if it'll work for you. Okay. Um, so uh, that, that will make things a lot easier for you. And oh, by the way, we give students, a uh, open water students, we give them a 10% discount on anything they want to buy at the shop. And, and Paul, including the shop, if you're interested, I, I think that would, be, uh, that would be good. So uh, open water, that's, that's, the first, that's the first step. Now, we have some flavors of that. For instance, uh, you can do a, 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 um, we can do a, a package where you can be uh, do a referral. For instance, you might want to do the the online portion and do the pool portion with us. Let's say you're going down to the Caribbean or you're going on a cruise. You might want to do do the open water portion down in Jamaica someplace. Uh, so we can do that. Uh, it, it be you can do a re it's called a referral. And what we would do is we at the end of your pool portion we would present you with a letter that you would take to the instructor. Uh, at at uh, wherever it is that you're going to to present them, and then you would pay them additional money to do the open water portion. Um, so there is that. Uh, the uh, and, uh, the other thing that happens sometimes is sometimes people can come to us. They say, "Well, we were someplace else, and we did the online portion and the pool portion, and we need to do the checkout." portion and we would take it down to the quarry and we can handle that as well. Um, we also have what's, uh, 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 we also have uh, uh, what we call core package and the core package uh, combines the open water and the advanced open water. And uh, so let me talk, uh, it combines the two of them together. But let me, t uh, before I talk to you about the, uh, the core package, let me talk about the advanced open water. Advanced open water is the next step in the journey um, of uh, d diving. Advanced open water gives you the skill set uh, to uh, dive down to 100 feet, okay? And I know a lot of people tell me, oh, I'm never gonna dive, I hear this a lot. I'm never gonna, I'm not interested in diving down to 100 feet, that's too deep for me, I'm only interested in going, yeah. Well, that turtle that you're chasing does not have a depth gauge on it. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. And the typical Caribbean dive is 70 to 80 feet. Uh, so it would dips down to 100 feet. Uh, so, and you, when you're in the Caribbean, a lot of times the, the water, the visibility can be 100 feet or more, um, 60, 70, 100 feet or more. And so when you're swimming around, you look up, you're down at 100 feet, you can look up, you can see the bottom of the boat that you rode, uh, that you were on. So uh, people, uh, uh, 100 feet is not, you need to, you need to be, have the skill set to do that. And advanced open water gives you the knowledge base to do that, okay? Um, it, it, the, not, the advanced open water consists of five dives. You go down uh, to the quarry over the weekend and you do five dives, okay? Or four dives, actually. You do three on Saturday and um, one, on, one on Sunday. And uh, nominee, nominee, you are an advanced open water diver. And it consists of uh, uh, usually two requirements. One is a deep dive and one is a navigation dive. And then w along with your instructor, you select... Um, a few others, and and uh, to, and normally we do uh, the other three are usually a selection of uh, let's say peak buoyancy, wreck, night dive. It can be some other, it can be some others, but those are the, usually the three that we normally do with people because they, they give you the the typical which typically run across on most dives. Okay, and they're the most helpful to the vast majority of people, and they give you a little bit of insight into uh, uh, the skill set that you need to uh, uh, become an, a, a 
better diver. Okay, so the core package, um, and and that the, uh, the, the that consists of um, uh, that's about uh, 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 so that's the advanced open water dive. Okay, so the core package blends those two together, and what it does is it allows us to uh, get you started uh, in in a in a, in, a, in that's in in one week in two weekends you get it all knocked out. Uh, and it saves it's a way to save money okay so if you know you're going to want to go through this pro process it allows you to save money so you do the first two dives of your advanced pa package on the Sunday uh, of your open uh, of your open water dives because normally you go down you do uh, open open water you do three dives on Saturday and one dive on Sunday with with the when you do the core package you would do an additional two dives for advanced on that Sunday, and then you would come back and you'd do the rest of your dives on a Saturday on one dive. So, you, and w what happens is we provide the equipment, um, uh, we provide the equipment and the air fill, so it saves you money in in the long run. Okay, so it's a, it's a it's a more economical way of going through the whole process if you want. So there's that possibility. Now, some of the other packages that we offer, we also offer a refresher, refresher course or a reactivation course. And that's for somebody who's been out of the water for a while. Okay, a lot of times when somebody wants to go on a trip, like we offer a trip to Curacao, and if you haven't been in the water for a while, what's going to happen is when you get to the destination, the question always is with any tour operator is, when was the last time you dove? And if it was more than a year ago, uh, they start getting a little excited. And if it was five years ago, they're going to be really suspicious. And if it's longer than that, you know, if it's back in sea hunt days, you know, when the TVs were black and white, they're going to be really, they're just not going to want to, uh, they're really not going to be very happy about letting you in the water with them. You know, just way too many lawyers these days. So we have a we have a what we call a reactivation class, and that's a couple hours. You jump in the pool um, when, on the day that we're having class, uh, and uh, it, we, we, for one hundred twenty five dollars, we provide the equipment. You have to bring your mask, fins, snorkel, and booties. You jump in the class, and we redo uh, regulator recovery, uh, buddy share, that type of thing in the pool, and you get a chance to swim around. Uh, get your buoyancy skills back getting on the bike for some of you it might be the first time you've had a BC on you know some some of you old guys um, it might be like that so um, it does uh, it does uh, it, and at the end of the class uh, when you finish up we do the paperwork we send that off to Patty and you will get a new certification card an updated certification card in the mail that you can present to it, any tour operators and hey I've been reactivated I've been uh, I've, I've had a refresher class, and uh, that will make them very happy. So there is that. Now, uh, when I I think of of what you need to go diving uh, anywhere in the world, you need to go. You have to have open water, advanced open water, and I always talk about the third leg of a stool is nitrox. Nitrox is an elevated oxygen level. You know, you think about what we, the air we breathe, we breathe the 21% level. And nitrox is an elevated oxygen level. So it might be, let's say, on a typical Caribbean dive where you're going down to 100 feet, you might take use 32% oxygen. And what that does is uh, it allows you to stay down longer. Now, a lot of people will report anecdotally that uh, they feel better, they, they feel more rested, or so it's anecdotal evidence, the studies don't back that up, but if it makes you feel better, it makes you feel better, you know? Um, but the, the important thing about nitrox is it allows you to extend your bottom time, okay? And for old farts, we don't metabolize as well as we used to. It also reduces the, uh, your exposure to, um, uh, it helps you with nitrogen. The less nitrogen intake you have, the better off you are in terms of uh, lowering your possibility of uh, taking a, uh, a, a hit for uh, yeah, I mean, going for a chamber ride, for instance. So uh, nitrogen is a good third leg to a stool. And it's very common these days. It used to be a voodoo gas uh, back in the old days, but now uh, everywhere you go, nitrox is available. I mean, even on even on liveaboards, nitrox is, is just 
there. And most play, a lot of places you go to these days, it's available at nominal additional cost, or it might even be standard uh, included in the package. Um, so nitrox is, is a third third way to go. And nitrox is a, is, is a course that you take on a Saturday, or for instance, uh, there's no diving involved. Um, and so it's a very simple, simple course, additional course to take. And with those three, uh, those three courses, yeah, with those three, I get it. But those three courses, you go anywhere in the world and dive, okay? Very good, okay? So, uh, now, uh, the other course that, uh, as you as you go further up the, uh, up the chain, if you want to make yourself a better diver, one of the other courses I like to recommend is Rescue Diver. Uh, rescue Diver is a, a great course to take. It's also one of the most fun courses you're gonna ever going to take while you're diving as well. It's uh, entertaining. It's a joy to take. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to get. To, to, it's a lot of fun to teach rescue diving. It's a lot of fun to uh, uh, take the course as well. Um, it's not about uh, Baywatch, you know. Although that that has been used, it, it does get used that way too. For instance, we had one uh, couple that took it. Uh, took the rescue diver class, and uh, they finished up. And then the next week, they actually went to Australia for a liveaboard. And while they were on the liveaboard, they actually had to use their rescue diver skills. <laughs> Gentleman had a, apparently had a heart problem in the water. He was. They had to rescue him. He was. They were involved in the rescue and also providing care on the boat itself until. Uh, Till authorities could reach the boat and uh, remove the individual, so uh, very exciting. But uh, they uh, uh, very good, good for them. Excellent job. Um, so uh, uh, it's great, great if it works like that. But usually, rescue diving is more about making, m making you uh, putting your head a little bit more in a swivel. All the other classes you're going to take are really about you and your skill set, okay? Rescue Diver is the first course that you take, is the only course you're gonna take outside of the pro level that opens up your world a little bit, that makes your, that makes your world bigger, puts your head a little bit more in a swivel. So you're more concerned about the people around you and what you see around you a little bit. So you, the idea behind it is it makes you cognizant of things so that you can stop problems stop things before they become a problem. You become more aware of other people kidding up, for instance, and on the boat, you become more aware of where people are in the water, those types of, those types of issues, those types of things. So you pre help prevent problems before they become problems. And, oh, by the way, in case a problem does come up, uh, you are equipped to deal with it, and you have the knowledge base to deal with it. So in all in all, it makes you a much better buddy, dive buddy to deal with. So if you're diving with family, um, if you have a family that you're diving with, usually at least one of you should be a rescue diver. Uh, if not multiples of you should be rescue divers. But it does make you a better dive buddy. And oh, by the way, one of the other advantages of rescue diver, if you're, di if you're diving alone, okay, or you know, say you're traveling with your spouse who's a non-diver, and you're the only diver in the group and you've decided to go out on the dive, you're on the pier, it allows you to look around. You learn the skill set. Eventually, you develop the skill set to look around, and you go. You look down to all the other the divers on the boat and or on the pier, and you go, no, 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 no. You, you need a dive, buddy. Yeah, you can just look at them, so you can avoid uh, avoid those problems getting uh, uh, underwater, being hooked up with somebody who does not know what they're doing. Very worth its weight in gold, I'm telling you. Rescue Diver has a lot of advantages that you don't normally see. But yeah, Rescue Diver, that's a great, great fun course. Prerequisites are CPR, first aid uh, course, uh, and, and usually the course that we offer for that, that prerequisite, the CPR, first aid, also has O2 provider and also AED or defibrillator, so you learn about that. Uh, and then... Uh, the, self, the course itself involves self-rescue. Uh, you recognize to, and, and to, to recognize and also help manage stress in other divers. Um, uh, and uh, emergency ma management and equipment, rescuing panic divers, rescuing unresponsive divers. And, you know, it's just, it's just a whole host of uh, things that make rescue, rescue Diver a really, really interesting and fun course to uh, 
uh, take, okay? Um, yeah, if you talk to anybody who's been in diving for a while, um, they can tell you stories about, um, about when things have not gone well, and uh, having that background is very important in terms of helping to manage the situation, okay? So those are uh, some of the uh, other uh, typical, those are some of the, the major um, certifications that, that you should think about uh, moving along in your dive uh, growth, okay? Now, and there are tons of other things. Whatever interest you have in diving, uh, there are certifications out there. There are other ones that you might want to seriously consider. For instance, you might want to think about, for instance, dry suit diving, um, uh, equipment specialist, um, dry, uh, obviously equipment, equipment specialist goes into how to care for, tear, do some tear downs and uh, look at your equipment and, and uh, to uh, maintain, do some better in-depth maintenance of your equipment, um, things like that, that, uh, you know, better, better, take better care of your equipment. Um, there's things like deep diving, which lets you get down to 130 feet, uh, there's fish ID, there's boat certifications, cavern, photography, drift, scooter, um, side mount diving, navigation, wreck, search and recovery. There's even a guy, there's even a guy at the shop who's doing a meg tooth specialty, if you can imagine that. Yeah, if you, if you search him, if you work on him, you may be able to get him to teach you how to collect and do a better job at getting meg teeth. He's really difficult to get him to do that, but you know, for the right, for the right incentives, he may be willing to do that for you and help you out with that. Um, uh, but yeah, it, 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 there's even a guy in the West Coast, for instance, I was reading about. He does a specialty where you jump out of a helicopter and dive. I, you know, uh, it's whatever, whatever you want. Uh, bug hunting. There's a ton of specialties out there that you can that you can get a hold of. Okay, so uh, and it, it, whatever, whatever. Whatever thing you'd like of interest you'd like to have, chances are there's a specialty out there certification that you can you can learn about from somebody. Okay, um, now to get further in the weeds with this stuff, uh, you can also get involved in the the uh, the next step up would be getting involved uh, beyond recreational diving would be technical diving, and and technical diving you can go a number of ways. Just like discovered scuba, there's a discover tech. Okay. Uh, so you can take the Discover Tech diving and see if it's the, see if it's something you want to get involved in. Uh, then the, the, there's uh, tech diving goes up from there. And why would you want to be involved in tech diving? Okay, You're perfectly happy doing um, recreational diving. For most people, that's fine. Uh, but there are advantages to a tech. For instance, you know, there's a lot of wrecks. For instance, that are down lower. Um, uh, the Oriskany, for instance, down in Florida. Uh, great, you can make it down to the, uh, uh, the, the deck of the Oriskany, and that's as far as you can go. And you spend a few minutes down there, and it's time to come back up. A lot of wrecks are like that, but even in, uh, even in the Outer Banks, a uh, short time down on the bottom. Uh, one of the things that uh, the tech diving allows you to do is it allows you to extend your stay on the bottom, even at recreational depths. Let's so you don't have to be going down to 200 feet uh, or deeper. You can stay you can spend, a tech diving allows you to spend more time at recreational depths. So let's say you're doing photography work or you just want to spend, explore a wreck or explore features at a certain depth, at a recreational depth, you just want to spend more time on the bottom. Tech diving will be a way that for you to do that. Expend, ex, uh, like meg tooth diving is a classic example. Uh, instead of going down there and spending 15 minutes down on the bottom, you can go down and spend an hour on the bottom, okay? Um, so there's different things you can do with that, uh, with tech diving, okay? And how you get there, again, it's a step process, okay? There's tech 40, which is the first step. It's sort of an introduction to it. It gets you the basics of it, the lingo, the, the planning, the handling, the cylinders, that type of thing. Then there's tech 45, gets you a little deeper in it. We, little, no pun intended. Okay, yeah, pun was intended. Um, gets you a little deeper into it where you start actually doing some uh, 
diving down to 145 feet. And then Tech 45, uh, Tech 50, we actually do di uh, deco dives down to 165 feet. You start using software to plan your dives. Then there's Tech 65, where you get into Trimix. And Trimix is where you start using helium, three different gases, in addition to oxygen, elevated oxygen. You use helium. Um, oxygen and nitrogen and how that works. There's tech side mount, so instead of doubles on your back, you're using the tech side, the, the, the tech side mount. Um, then there's additional classes we have. We have nitrox blender, we have trimix blender, or you can get both of them together. So there's things like that. Now, further on, as far as classes are concerned, we also have rebreathers. You want to get into the rebreather side of it. Okay, those people who are into the text, especially the Trimix boys, they start paying for that helium bill. <laughs> when, when we charge for the helium, that's when we usually, I get, I get a chance to practice my mouth to mouth resuscitation of my O2. That's when we use that in any event. Um, yeah, uh, watch them pass out. <laughs> I always clear the, I always clear the st shop and back of them when those guys come in. Um, yeah, so uh, the re the rebreather is another way to go. Uh, and so to to rebreather classes, there's entry level and there's um, the, and there's different levels of that to allow them to do uh, rec sort of recreational depths, and then there there's the different depths beyond. You know, lets them go even deeper, all the way down hypoxic. Okay, so uh, there's there's different levels of uh, rebreather training as well. So that's a wide depth and range of of things to learn about and do um, with um, recreational diving. Okay, um, so you have the ability to uh, extend your knowledge, extend your diving uh, uh, resume, if you will. Okay, uh, all within um, recreational, all within recreational and technical li technical limits, and enjoy the sport that we all love so much. Um, now, if you want to take it further, there's you can always go pro, um, and uh, to, going pro is is a lot of. I've enjoyed it. My, it's it's a lot of fun because you become basically you begin to proselytize your your, uh, your enjoyment of the sport, right? Um, and the first step would be become a dive master, okay? Uh, dive master, or very, well, otherwise known as tank monkeys, or whatever else you want to call us, uh, dive masters, or uh, uh, th that would be the next step. And uh, dive masters are basically they assist the instructors um, in uh, training the students. Um, everybody always have fond memories of their uh, their instructors. Um, a lot of times, instructors become the uh, uh, mentors. Uh, for for divers throughout their whole career, um, and they very few people remember their dive masters. <laughs> Some dive masters make an impression. Most of, most of them just fade into memory. But the dive masters are the ones who are humping the tanks and running up and down the hill, or following everybody around, uh, hurting hurting all the cats, uh, making sure uh, uh, you know. People who draw, who have buoyancy problems—they're they're the folks who follow follow everything around. Okay, they 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 assist the instructor uh, uh, wherever wherever the instructor needs help. That's what the dive master's job is. Okay, um, and and basically, they're to, if you have a desire to help other people to enjoy the sport as much as you do, then it might be it might be the thing to do. Um, and uh, it also gets you into uh, 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 certain benefits, for instance, uh, um, a lot more free air. Yeah, there's that. Um, uh, and then the step after that would be assistant instructor. Okay, and assistant instructor is really the first step to becoming an actual instructor. Um, yes, the, the gods of the the industry uh, instructors, um, but assistant instructor they can actually begin to teach a lot of uh, the skill sets that uh, uh, the open water students and, and advanced open water students learn. They they are in a position to begin teaching those under the supervision of the godlike instructors. Uh, the instructors then then after that. It's instructor level. You become an instructor. And instructors, they're the top of the pyramid, man. Guys like Gary um, and Andy, uh, they are the top of the pyramid chain. You know, they are the... Uh, and
end all be all. And uh, uh, they have the skill sets, they have the knowledge base uh, to uh, instruct uh, people, their students, in terms of skills and uh, to uh, have a, to, to what they need to survive in the water, to prosper in the water, and to enjoy themselves in the water. So, uh, and the, the other thing I would tell you about taking classes is it's it, 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 taking classes is uh, not just about um, not just about it, it's it's learning skills. Yes, it's about learning skills, but it's also an opportunity to, to be in the water. It's also an opportunity to socialize with people that are also enjoying the sport as well. You know. The diving is, is, as much as it is uh, social distancing while you're underwater, it's a very social sport. And um, uh, having an opportunity to sit around and talk with people or listen to people um, who are engaged in the same activity as you are, it, 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 it's really a technical sport, um, is, is really... I think a lot of fun. It really is very rewarding to uh, be involved with it, um, both in the water and out of the water. Um, so uh, uh, the ongoing ability to uh, sp to specialize, to further specialize your knowledge, is just uh, a, an opportunity. I, I think everyone should take advantage of. So ongoing education is the way to go. Uh, keeps you abreast. It also gives you an excuse and a reason to get back in the water. Um, perhaps when you may, 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 you may not be able to f afford or have the time to go to uh, 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 the Curacao or to the Caribbean um, or to some other de distant location. But you know, a, a weekend at the quarry, yeah, to uh, to to pick up another skill set uh, like a rescue diver or whatnot. Yeah, we can do that. You know, get in the pool and work on some skill sets. Yeah, we can do that. And s blow some bubbles. Yeah, we can do that. And and stand around and talk with a bunch of other divers. Yeah, we can do that. So uh, enjoy the sport. Come into the shop. Talk to us. Uh, tell us what you're interested in, what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. And uh, we can hook you up with uh, a, another skill set, another certification card. And uh, we go from there, okay? So, in any event, um, I will. It's been nice talking with you. I know this is a little bit different, no show and tell this time around, but uh, it, it, it uh, is nice. We will, we will talk at you later, and we'll, I guess we'll uh, see you Friday. Is it Wednesday? I'm losing track of this. Um, uh, we'll see you the next time we're supposed to see you every day. That is my cameraman is not here to whisper in my ear or yell at me about what day of the week it is. I think it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. See you Wednesday. See you Friday. <laughs>